We went to the first game, and it was right around halftime. As the guys were coming off, Peter was sitting there, and a couple of the guys knew him. They started high-fiving him. He enjoyed it, so it became a tradition at halftime. Him, you know, Peter and Philip would high-five the team coming off the field. What started as a halftime high-five for the Frolish brothers has taken on a life of its own and turned into them being the biggest football fans in the Capital Region. My first dream as a father, always when you have a son, is my son's going to be the star quarterback. This is something even cooler than him being the star quarterback. Now it's, you know, he's the, the star fan. Are you the star fan? They've really never been a part of an athletic team, so for them to actually have this type of reception with the football team, it's, it's like awesome. The brothers, who are 15 years old and 14 years old, both suffer from Duchenne muscular dystrophy and autism, but they're not defined by their disease. Rather, they're defined by their zest for life and taking full advantage of what they do have. Just watching the games, just going to away games, and home games and this is awesome because I like the football team. I'm having all, all sorts of fun. It just makes life easier that we don't know anything else other than what they what we have with them so it's, it's great and it keeps them busy. Their passion for the blue streaks is keeping them very busy. The brothers create different hashtags on Twitter each week and make signs for each specific game and, of course, trash talk, steamed Shen lobster. On top of that, Peter has his own show called the Saratoga Football Hot Seat. Looks like we have a fast team out there. We're going to have a great season. And the team truly appreciates the support. They're very important not only to this group but to last year's group. Um, and, and even the, the kids down below. I mean, they're such amazing kids, you know, when you, when you talk to them. Uh, and, you know, they're always smiling, and they, they bring a lot of exposure to the kids behind us, uh, you know, with what they do on Twitter and on Facebook and, uh, and in the school. We always see them when we go on the field, and, they're, you know, they're the first ones we see when we come off the field, and, uh, you know, it's great having them around. It's unbelievable. It's kind of hard to put into words, honestly. I mean, it's, uh, you know, it's very humbling and, uh, you know, just kind of, it just means a lot to have them right on the sideline each game with their signs. It's, uh, you know, it's really cute. So, uh, you know, it's awesome to have those guys there and they're our biggest fans, so it's awesome. The boys are enjoying themselves. They love being part of the team and love spreading their most important message. Live life to the fullest.